This is Ian Preedy from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video, I'll show you how to connect a BBC micro computer to a video monitor or TV via the HDMI input. To do this, you'll need my IGB SCART lead and this low cost SCART to HDMI video converter. Okay, let's uh, connect everything together. Make sure the micro and the video monitor are switched off. Connect the DIM plug of the SCART lead into the RGB output on the micro. Connect one end of a HDMI video cable to the HDMI input on the monitor. This one's already connected. Connect the other end of the HDMI lead to the HDMI output on the video converter. Connect the SCART plug to the SCART input. Switch the monitor on and select the HDMI input. Then connect the power to the video converter and switch it on. You should see the power light come on there. After a few seconds, a status box should appear on the screen, which the video converter outputs. And as you can see at the moment, SCART's connected. Uh, the source is SCART, which is what we want. If yours says HDMI, then you'll need to press the SCART HD button, which just toddles basically between HDMI input and SCART input. Then we need to switch the micro on. And as you can see, it's picked up a PAL signal now, which is correct. This um, micro has got a small, I don't know if you can see that, yes you can, um, a small MMC SD card fitted uh, in the user port underneath the keyboard there, which has basically got lots of uh, programs preloaded. So to access that, we just need to press the shift and break key. And it brings up hundreds and hundreds of programs. Um, I'm just going to go to menu 13, which has got one of my favourites, which is Chucky Egg. While that's loading, I'll just show you some of the other options on this converter. The SCART HD button, as I've already mentioned, just switches between the SCART and HDMI input. The 720 1080p button selects the output resolution of the converter. This needs to match the monitor that you're using. I'm using a 1080p monitor here, so it's already set for the maximum resolution. But you'll need to go through those and select the best resolution that matches your monitor. Okay, let's see what we've got. And we've got a good picture. The status box should disappear automatically and does vary from converter to converter. Sometimes it's a few seconds, sometimes it can be longer. Um, a little bit annoying, it's just popped away there. And as you can see, you should get a nice clear picture. Let me just uh, switch that light off just to get rid of that glare on the screen. You should get a nice clear picture with vivid colours and a very steady picture. Now video converters um, are not all compatible. Um, basically, most won't work. They've got to be compatible with the RGB video signals and also with the 15 kilohertz video signal that most microcomputers output. For more information on this video converter featured in this video and other professional, more expensive video converters, please click the link below the video. Well, that's about it from me. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you find it useful.